The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. During today's session, as scheduled, the chamber is going to conduct the hearings on the key documents presentation. The chamber is going to hear counsels for la Chambre entendra la défense de Nunchea qui pourra présenter ses documents clés et faire des observations sur les documents présentés par l'accusation et par les convocats principaux pour les parties civiles du 24 au 27 juin 2013. Je prie le greffier de faire rapport sur la présence des parties. Dao and San. Le Good morning, Mr. President and Bonjour, Your Honours. Monsieur le Président, Mesdames, Messieurs les Juges. All the parties to the proceedings are present, except Mr. Mounchia, who is present in his holding cell. Mounchia, cela étant, il se trouve dans la cellule temporaire, comme décidé par la Chambre, compte tenu de son état de santé. Le co-avocat principal, principal cambodgien pour les parties civiles, Maître Pic Ang, a informé la Chambre qu'il arriverait avec un peu de retard. Merci. The President, thank you. Le Next, before we hand merci. over to Avant de céder la parole for Mr. à la défense de Nunchea, la Chambre invite, Mr. Arthur invite à présent to rise, Maître please. Arthur Verken à se lever. On Thursday, the 4th of July, after the President had announced the close of proceedings Après que le for the day, que les débats Mr. Arthur Viaquen, international Arthur lawyer for Kills of Khan, shouted angrily at the President. He then, he then remained seated as the President and other trial chamber judges left the courtroom. This behavior Falls well below the standards of professionalism du niveau de professionnalisme of lawyers que est en appearing in this or any other court. Cour and it's a poor example to more junior lawyers. He was rude and disruptive in front of others. His professional de ses confrères et collègues ainsi que du public. Il convient de lui décerner un avertissement conformément à la règle 37.1 du règlement intérieur. Vous pouvez vous rasseoir. Et si je souhaite répondre, M. le Président, pour dire que j'estime que c'est... Le Président, ça suffit, vous pouvez vous rasseoir. Je trouverai certainement le moment de m'exprimer le mieux et l'endroit The President, uh, now the Chamber would like to hand over to counsels for Mr. Nunchea to be able to present their documents or make any observations regarding the key documents concerning the documents presented by by lawyers and co-prosecutors for the parties civil. Um, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, you may now proceed first. Entre temps, la parole est à l'accusation. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Merci. President. Good morning to you and the bench and counsel. Bonjour. I wanted to raise just a preliminary issue regarding uh, a list of documents that Il y a une liste the Nunchea team uh, circulated uh, last night, I believe, uh, rather than raise this objection 
Je préfère en parler maintenant plutôt que de soulever une objection en plein milieu de leur exposé. Il y a plusieurs documents qui sont des transcriptions d'audience. Et apparemment, la défense de Nunchea a l'intention de faire une chose inédite, à savoir lire des dépositions de par des témoins en audience. Je ne sais pas comment la défense souhaite entendre ces dépositions de témoins. Si c'est uniquement pour des raisons de contexte pour présenter un document, nous n'aurons pas d'objection, mais si l'intention Present witness et testimony that they believe is relevant. I believe that goes outside the scope of the intended par la purpose of these proceedings, which is to discuss documentary evidence that the parties believe documentaires qui des yeux, so I raise that issue now because there are a number of documents on the list, présents, and I believe it's appropriate de uh, to. Uh, uh, il est bon, je pense, de soulever la question à présent plutôt qu'en plein milieu de l'exposé de la défense. Good morning, Mr. President. Um, if I may briefly reply, there are some uh, trial transcripts um, uh, in our documents, uh, a list of documents. Dans notre liste uh, it is merely um, being used by me today to provide Je vais seulement context, les employer à des fins uh, in the sense de of, um, Autrement dit, <laughs> of the probative value of the documents being presented. Ce sera par rapport à la valeur probante uh, des documents a présentés. Uh, to our Ceci permettra de donner um, un contexte uh, in which we are Challenging the probative value et de dans quel contexte nous contestons in so la valeur probante uh, des soulevés dans present, la liste. Uh, it were, Il ne s'agit pas d'une un, plaidoirie finale en quelque sorte, mais simplement d'une présentation pour raison de contexte. La parole est à la défense de l'Onchea. Thank you, Maître, uh, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur Your le Honours. Président. Good morning, Council. Mesdames, Messieurs les juges, chers confrères, bonjour. Mr. President, today uh, we will offer Onchea's response to the document Nous allons présenter la réaction de l'Onchea par rapport and The civil parties, aux documents présentés par l'accusation et par les parties civiles. Ces documents ont été présentés aware, il y a deux semaines. Comme le sait la Chambre, ces exposés concernent deux grands thèmes. The five so les cinq supposées politiques criminelles de l'entreprise criminelle commune énoncées dans l'ordonnance de clôture, ainsi que le rôle de notre client sous le Cambodge de notre équipe. Uh, Mon collègue, Maître Sonarun et moi-même, nous allons today, concernant les deux volets de cet exposé. Aujourd'hui, dès ma matin, Of the five Je commencerai par criminal policies les cinq politiques and a criminelles general discussion of New et par role. une brève description du rôle de Nunchia. We anticipate, Mr. President, that part of our response will take most of today's hearing. Nous pensons avoir besoin um, my Cambodian colleague de la majeure part will then speak de l'audience d'aujourd'hui. Ensuite, in interviendra Maître Sonarun, qui both, évoquera uh, plus en détail le rôle de Nunchia. Nous avons tous les deux des commentaires généraux sur la qualité, la fiabilité et l'authenticité des éléments de preuve présentés Finally, devant la Chambre. Uh, enfin, Nunchia lui-même utilisera la dernière heure du temps qui nous a été imparti pour prononcer une déclaration. That this will happen during the second half of uh, tomorrow morning's session. En deuxième partie de matinée. Demain. Mr. President, I feel that it is necessary that I make some uh, opening observations comments about the scope of this trial. Concernant la portée du présent of course, procès. the Chamber is Bien entendu, familiar with our position uh, about this. Position à ce sujet. We stated in objections during the co-prosecutors and civil parties documents presentations. Lors de la we stated that. The Chamber may also be aware that we have since filed an addendum uh, to an outstanding appeal with the Supreme Court Chamber. 
un appel qui est encore en instance de la Cour suprême. Nos observations devant les deux chambres sont basées sur la Cour suprême which the chamber established at the beginning of this trial. That separation is between evidence of the existence of the alleged criminal policies of democratic Kampuchea, which is admissible, and their implementation, which is, in our view, inadmissible. I think it is clear that both the co-prosecutors and the civil parties have strayed frequently into questions of implementation and therefore into areas beyond the scope of this trial. And indeed, the prosecution's position was not that they weren't doing that. Their position was that they um, were allowed to do that. And they were very explicit in that regard. And I will refer you, Mr. President, Your Honours, to the transcript of June 26, 2013, and I will refer you, Mr. President, Your Honours, to the transcript of June 26, 2013, pages 40 to 42, where the prosecution made that uh, very same argument. And needless to say, we disagree strongly with their view. We think it's essential to Nguyen right to a fair trial that this chamber is assigned zero weight and zero probative value to any of this documentary evidence. During the hearing on June 26, the chamber rejected our objections to the presentation of these documents. You held that we would have an opportunity to make submissions on relevance and probative value in our response. With respect, Mr. President, but that ruling is not a response to our objection. There are two reasons for that. First, this chamber has already held that we are not entitled to make objections concerning admissibility at these hearings. Relevance is a question of admissibility. And we fear that notwithstanding the chamber's most recent ruling that we are allowed to contest relevance in our response, we will ultimately be told, as the chamber has told us many times, that document presentations hearing are only for probative value. And these documents will end up within the pool of evidence that the Chamber relies on. There needs to be a clear and bright line exclusion of these documents, which means that, in our view, they should not have been presented to begin with. Second, Mr. President, relevance is not the issue. The evidence presented by the prosecution is not admissible because it is irrelevant. It's inadmissible because this chamber has excluded it in severance order. Those are two very different things. Last week, the co-prosecutors argued that evidence on the ground, lower down the line, is relevant to show that the policy existed. That is a logical enough proposition, and we don't agree, disagree with it. In fact, as we will show later, the facts on the ground, as to the supposed execution of colonial soldiers in support, the Nguyen's position that no such policy existed. But the Chamber has clearly and repeatedly excluded implementation evidence outside the scope of case 00-01 from live testimony. It has called no witnesses. It has prohibited parties from questioning witnesses except for experts or where relevant to structure. In our submission, Mr. President, the Chamber may not apply one strict standard to the admission of life evidence and a second much looser standard in admitting documentary evidence. And in considering whether documentary evidence La Chambre ne peut appliquer un critère strict pour la recevabilité des... It must therefore ask the following question. Would a question about this documentary evidence... Preuve vivante et un critère plus lâche pour les preuves documentaires. Lorsqu'on se demande si des preuves documentaires peuvent être considérées par la Chambre dans le cadre de la il faut se poser la question suivante. Si la réponse est non, cet document doit être accordé zéro weight par le juge. Durant l'audition d'un témoin, si la réponse est non, il faut accorder une valeur probante aux documents. Nous allons venir à l'intention de la Chambre les pièces présentées par l'accusation et par les parties civiles qui devraient être exclues pour cette raison. 
Mr. President, this is our voilà donc legal objection notre objection to the evidence of implementation. Concernant les éléments de preuve relatifs These are the legal reasons why that documentary evidence is inadmissible. But of course, underneath the legal question de preuve sont is one mais rooted in the facts of this case. De la question and it is a question that is fundamental to the allegations against our client. It is fundamental to Nunchia's defense une against those allegations. Aux and it is fundamental to the way this tribunal thinks about the nature of Nunchia's responsibility for what happened in the Democratic Congress. de Nunchia. Mr. President, Your Honor, as the Chamber Comme is aware, le sait, Nguyen Chia does Nguyen Chia not deny ni pas the seniority of his role a joué in the Democratic, Democratic Party. He does not deny that he was in involved in formulating the policies of the Democratic but he does deny contre, that those policies were intended to cause the commission of crimes. La commission de crime. It is exactly Nguyen Chia's claim that if lower level cadres committed crimes, que si des cadres de they committed those des crimes, crimes in defiance of the orders of the party centre. Centre du parti. And we submit that the evidence amply supports Nguyen Chia's position. Dans le sens de la position de the evidence is overwhelming that criminal acts in the Democratic Republic were committed by local cadres locaux acting on their own without instruction. The evidence is overwhelming that criminal conduct varied widely across Cambodia and depended on the whims of local leaders. That is why we are so insistent that policies outside the scope of case 002 Slash zero one are at issue. Pour que the chamber la chambre no n'examine pas les éléments de preuve relatifs à la mise en œuvre lorsqu'il s'agit de politique n'entrant pas dans le dossier de la mise en œuvre. La chambre ne saurait sérieusement conclure que nous avons eu l'occasion de prouver que les faits sur le terrain dans les coopérations de sécurité s'écartaient des politiques du PCK éditées au niveau central. Pour cette raison. Mr. President, we ask that in evaluating the evidence Quand based before you, the documentary, documentary evidence, devant vous, you pay the closest attention to what was said by the party centre. centre. What was said. Ce qui a été dit. If you focus carefully si on what was said, you will find that the Communist Party dit, of Cambodia had no intention pas to commit criminal acts. Criminel. The Communist Party of Cambodia intended to implement a socialist revolution in Cambodia. Full stop. Point final. I would like to quote something the co-prosecutors co recently said in the filing to the Supreme Court Chamber. That was observation in document E284-4-3. It was in fact the co-prosecutor's response to our appeal against this chamber's decision, decision to renew the severance of the closing order. De and the co-prosecutors said the following, and I quote, Voici le passage de The co-prosecutors submit that this is not a political trial in which pas the accused politique. are being prosecuted because they were communists, socialists, or, or revolutionaries. And of quote. Mr. President, we will submit that the co-prosecutor's presentation demonstrates that this claim is demonstrably false. Every document in the presentation which truly Concerned concernant CPK réellement la politique du PCK was about the general political goals of the revolution. Généraux, de la revolution. None of these documents Aucun de ces documents ne contenait des instructions ou ne visait à la commission d'actes criminels. Now, Mr. President, with that in mind, allow us to proceed to discuss each of these alleged policies one at a time. Une par une. And with, with respect to all five policies, we will show that the prosecution's key documents, documents systematically fail to show any criminal intent on the part of the party center. Du centre du parti. We will ask the chamber to recall that the prosecution's presentations reflects their selection of the very best 
que l'exposé de l'accusation se fonde sur le choix des meilleurs documents que l'accusation a pu trouver après des années d'enquête. Cela montre de façon convaincante que le centre de parti n'avait pas l'intention criminelle. Concernant les deux politiques qui relèvent de la portée du présent procès, nous allons, à titre préliminaire, prouver que les preuves sur le terrain corroborent la position de Nunchea selon laquelle, si des crimes ont été commis, il s'agissait de crimes sporadiques, aléatoires et découlant de l'initiative des cadres locaux. I will now go, Mr. President, to à présent, the documentary evidence as je vais passer presented aux preuves documentaires de l'accusation. Tout d'abord, des commentaires about généraux about sur les documents clés presented présentés by par l'accusation. Surtout concernant l'utilisation par l'accusation de sources secondaires. Ce sont par exemple des livres écrits par des gens comme Ben Kierlan et Philippe Short. Ces livres ont été écrits par des chercheurs qui ont rassemblé des données après la chute du régime. Ces chercheurs ont examiné des documents et interrogé des témoins. Dans le cas de Philippe Short, il a entamé ses recherches 20 ans après la chute du régime. Et M. Short ne parle pas un mot de Khmer et il Now, ne lit pas de Khmer. Si vous me permettez de parler comme avocat et non seulement en tant qu'avocat, je ne parle pas au nom de notre client, mais sur le plan professionnel, je pense que cette pratique est contestable. Ce n'est pas ainsi que l'on administre un procès, à mon sens. Ce n'est pas ainsi que l'on prouve que quelqu'un est coupable d'un crime. Je rappelle que l'exposé de l'accusation était censé être un exposé sur les documents clés. Le cœur du cas que notre client et que nous avons are criminally liable. Now, I don't mean to suggest that expert analysis is never useful. For instance, the chamber has before it an expert report from Dr. Eva Tabo concerning the demographics of Cambodia in the 1970s and the number of people who supposedly died in 1979. Now we certainly have serious Certes, methodological ce problems with that selon report, de graves but at least méthodologiques, it's a proper mais expert report. Moins, un it gives an expert expertise. opinion, il but something opinion outside the competence of qui the chamber. Ne pas de la de la chambre. But the excerpts from mais the Short and Keenan book used by the prosecution go to simple claims of facts, of facts about things that supposedly happened in democratic Kampuchea. Some Democratic. of them even go directly cas, to the acts and the conduct of the accused. Pursuant to this chamber's ruling, en application de la décision de la Chambre, accused, des preuves sur les actes et la conduite des accusés présente dans une déclaration de témoin sont irrecevables. Je parle ici d'une déclaration de témoin. Nous avons au contraire entendu des allégations présentées sans prestation de serment, des allégations non authentifiées émanant d'un auteur qui n'était pas présent au Cambodge et Alors, kind of qui aurait trouvé quelque chose sur l'Onchien. C'est le genre de choses qu'on écrit kind of en première, première année d'études de sciences politiques à l'université. Mais ce n'est pas le genre de choses à utiliser pour prouver que quelqu'un est coupable de, de, tout, de tout doute raisonnable. Quand on s'appuie sur des recherches secondaires, même si l'auteur vient déposer, il y a des dangers qui sont apparus dans la déposition de Numuk, le 20 juin. Numuk a été cité à comparaître principalement parce que Ben Kierman avait écrit dans un de ses livres que Numuk lui avait dit que Kyo Sampan avait approuvé la version de Phnom Penh. C'est seulement quand Mouk est venu dans le prétoire qu'il a expliqué avoir été chef de commune n'ayant pratiquement aucun contact avec l'un quelconque des hauts dirigeants du PCK. 
L'accusation s'appuie aussi lourdement sur le livre de Ted Sambat. Toute évidence, le livre de Ted Sambat est différent de celui de Philip Short ou de Ben Kiernan. Sambat prétend décrire des événements que lui a relaté Nguyen Chia. Mais à nouveau, cette chambre ne devrait accorder à cela que peu ou pas de poids. Sambat dit que son livre se fonde sur une combinaison d'entretiens avec Nunchea, sur un manuscrit remis à Ted Sambat par Nunchea et les conclusions de Ted Sambat. Mais dans la plupart des, extraits, des extraits cités par l'accusation, il est impossible de déterminer laquelle de ces sources constitue le fondement de ce qu'affirme Sambat. Aucun des entretiens originaux n'a été produit devant la Chambre. Le manuscrit que Nunchea a donné à Ted Sambat n'est pas au dossier. La Chambre se voit au contraire invitée par l'accusation à s'appuyer sur un résumé concocté de toutes pièces par un journaliste du Wall Street Journal et par Ted Sambat et ensuite emballé à des fins commerciales. Intrinsèquement, ce livre n'est pas fiable. Si la Chambre pensait que Ted Sambat avait des éléments de preuve importants, elle aurait dû le convoquer. La défense de Nunchea a demandé que la Chambre le fasse. L'accusation aussi l'a fait au moins deux fois. La Chambre a dit que la position n'était pas un, assez importante pour justifier une présence du témoin au procès. La Chambre ne saurait à présent conclure que ce livre non authentifié contient des déclarations fiables de Nunchea quant à sa propre culpabilité. Monsieur le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs les juges, je vais passer à l'accusation de l'accusation, comme quoi le PCK avait une politique consistant à éliminer par la violence tout ce qui était perçu comme des ennemis du PCK. Je vais examiner un par un les documents de l'accusation. Je n'aborderai pas tous les documents, mais la plupart d'entre eux. Nous montrerons que ces documents avec les convictions de Nguyen-Chia sur son rôle sous le Kampuchea démocratique. Nous montrerons que ces documents ne démontrent l'existence d'aucun plan ou d'aucune intention de commettre des actes criminels. Nous montrerons que les mots sur lesquels l'accusation entend s'appuyer ne sont pas des instructions libérales visant à s'attaquer à des gens qui contestent politiquement des systèmes et des forces d'oppression. Nous montrerons que ces documents concernent uniquement les, les buts politiques plus généraux du PCK. Nous montrerons que ces objectifs sont légitimes et qu'à un certain égard, ils correspondent aux politiques de tous les États du monde. Les deux premiers documents présentés par l'accusation étaient des extraits de livres de Philippe Short et de Ted Sambat, dont je viens de parler. Il s'agit respectivement des documents E3-9 et E152.2. Ce ne sont peut-être pas les documents les plus importants présenté par l'accusation, mais nous devons faire des commentaires sur la manière dont l'accusation entend utiliser ces textes. L'accusation cite ces livres pour la description qu'ils contiennent des ouvrages lus à la fin des années 40 par les jeunes gens qui sont ensuite devenus les dirigeants du PCK. L'accusation essaie de jeter des fondements pour ce qui s'est produit entre 1979 en identifiant les livres que des étudiants avaient lus 30 ans plus tôt, des livres que des millions de personnes avaient lus chaque année, des livres sur lesquels des millions de personnes ont fondé leur idéologie politique. Ceci fait partie des efforts de l'accusation 
de raconter une histoire simple et commande, celle d'un petit groupe de gens qui sont devenus obsédés par certaines idées et les ont utilisées pour détruire un pays. Mais l'histoire réelle est bien plus compliquée. Short and Sabbat Ces is of zero relevance livres and of de zero Sabbat et de Short n'ont aucune pertinence, aucune valeur probante eu égard aux faits examinés dans ce procès. The evidence is also objectionable because of the claims that the authors, and especially Mr. Short, makes, make in connection with them. While Philip Short is good enough to concede that the students' readings cannot, Short, quote, of itself be blamed for what would happen later. He does claim that they were a, quote, uh, they were a, quote, formative influence. He claims that learning of Stalin's precepts, quote, marked indelibly the thinking of the future revolutionaries. Now, these claims made almost 60 years after the fact by a person with no grounding in Cambodian politics or culture about what these specific people were thinking at a specific time are, with all respect, outrageous. They are entitled to zero probative value. They are also a reflection of, of the way in which Mr. Short formulates his conclusions, which the Chamber ought to consider in assessing this evidence more generally. <laughs> the next document uh, the prosecution presented was a September 1977 issue of Revolutionary Flag. This document number is E3-11. And I would like to make a general comment about this first document, because this is going to come up over and over as we look at these documents here today. I have to say, Mr. President, that when we went back and looked at the prosecution's analysis of these documents and compared them to the documents themselves, we were, and I have to say that, quite appalled. We were appalled by the way in which the prosecution, I use that word, that word carefully, but I, the, the way in which the prosecution manipulated these documents. They quoted selectively. They skipped portions that were inconsistent with their narrow and prejudicial view of the accused. And they did not endeavor to give this chamber anything resembling a truthful or accurate interpretation of these documents. Now, this is a civil law system, Mr. President, where there ought to be some kind of obligation on the part of the prosecution to see themselves as more than a mere party seeking to win a case. They are supposed to be officers of the court. But especially with these revolutionary flags, what they did was pick and choose the quotes they wanted this chamber to hear in such a way as to actively distort the meaning of these documents. And we think, Mr. President, Your Honours, that's very unfortunate. Let us look at this first document carefully, because the prosecution quoted from it extensively. The first quote the prosecution used was at ERN English 0048-6227, Khmer 00063138, and French 00492814. And the language was, and I quote, the mission of national revolution le meant attacking and driving out imperialism to liberate the country. De la and of course, we agree 100% and suppose, or at least hope, that the prosecution is not trying to find anything unlawful in it. Indeed, in this regard, the CPK should be applauded for their, general, for their genuine de desire de to uh, liberate uh, Cambodia. Legal, uh, then the prosecution quoted language about the classes in Cambodia and the contradictions between them. That was at ERN English 0048-6228, Khmer 0006313 and French 0049281. Page 
37 into 38 of the draft transcript. I won't uh, repeat the whole quote. You can see it. But the gist of it was that there are many different contradictions between the, between the classes. I'll quote one sentence which was, and I quote, the contradictions were complex and much entangled. End of quote. Now, by itself, that language would make you think that the CPK saw Cambodian society as complex, that they were not trying to blindly set one class against the other. And to try to dispel that impression, the prosecution quoted two other statements further down in the same page. The first was, I quote, it was from the landowners that the peasants suffered the worst, the most varied and most direct oppression. Thus, 85% of the population, the peasants, were in contradiction with the exploiting class that exploited them directly, the landowners. And the second uh, quote was, and I quote again, this contradiction was a life and death contradiction. This was a profound contradiction in Capuchin society, one which impacted 85% of the population. It was for this reason that the first party Congress defined this contradiction as an antagonistic contradiction. This being the case, how should this contradiction be resolved? The peasants had to be whipped up to struggle and fight against the exploiting classes, the feudalist landowners. End of quote. So the the, the prosecution is inviting this chamber to conclude that the CPK saw the 85% as being in a life and death contradiction with the rest of the population. However, from the very next sentence, the document states as follows, and I quote again, that had to be the general solution. But to win, the peasants had to gather up one another to be on their side. Our concrete experience had clearly shown that once we succeeded in mobilizing 85% of the people, the rest would follow, except for a small minority who would not go along. This is what we set as the mission of democratic revolution. By democratic revolution, we mean the liberation of the people. Concretely, it is the liberation of the 85% majority of the people who are the peasant class. To liberate the peasants who make up 85% of the population is to liberate all the people at one blow. Among the 15% remaining, the great majority would follow the masses of the peasantry who form a powerful revolutionary force. So what this language that the prosecution deliberately and consciously omitted clarifies that in making revolution the peasant and working classes are not expected to be in conflict with the rest of society. Instead, they are expected to join forces with the vast majority of the population against a tiny group of truly ruling class landowner elites. Next, Mr. President, the prosecution, prosecution quoted an excerpt from ERN English 00486230, Khmer 0063141, and French 0039281. In that excerpt, the document states, quote, spiritual leaders of the exploiting classes disseminated inf information to bury these contradictions. The belief that bad and good deeds from another life resulted in present conditions served to deceive the peasants and prevent them from seeing the contradictions. End of quote. Now, that, of course, is straightforward and very orthodox communist ideology. Religion is the opiate of the masses, 
et bien sûr and you could une probably find 10,000 critical studies professors in uh, western universities still today who say exactly the same thing about their own societies. 10 000, uh, professors dans des universités occidentales aujourd'hui qui diraient encore la même chose concernant leur propre société. Le président, monsieur le co-procureur, vous avez la parole. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, I do have uh, an objection Merci, to le part le of what council is doing in this presentation. Uh, I have no problem. He wants to suggest that, that we uh, omitted information that is the purpose of this presentation. If he believes there are relevant passages from these documents that we did not present, fine. This is his opportunity to do that. Where I do object is him characterization uh, of our presentation, but also his attempt to provide commentary as if he is an expert himself on communist ideology to provide uh, purported explanations of these documents documents based on uh, other literature which he is not presenting. I think that Council is certainly entitled to read ici. the passion, uh, portions of these documents that he believes are relevant, uh, but this constant commentary, uh, submissions, uh, and attempts to provide testimony himself about the meaning of these documents, I believe, is improper. Honestly, Mr. President, I have Maître no idea Kopé. how to react to this. This is Honnêtement, what we le do je as defense pas lawyers. We, we comment on the probable value. We make an argument about an argument why we're doing it. Uh, of course, the prosecution might not agree, but that's, pas that's how it is. Mais so uh, I don't see really how I should do things differently. Je ne vois pas très bien comment je devrais faire autrement.
The President, I hand over to Judge uh, Sibylla Cartwright. Uh, you may proceed, Judge. Yes, thank you, President. Cartwright. The um, trial Cartwright, chamber merci, is President. not treating this as an objection. Um, and uh, it does not wish to uh, interfere with the manner in which Defence Council wishes to present um, its uh, uh, documents or its, its comment on documents. But just to remind um, uh, Defence Council that uh, any comments that are made that are not based on evidence before us or documents before us, are, of course, have very little weight, or very little of any weight, um, Mr. Corby, and I know that you um, understand that. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Judge Cartwright. For that guidance. Um, Mr. President, I have been told by my colleague that I'm going a little fast for the translation, so I will slow it down a little bit. Exprime un peu trop rapidement pour les interprètes, donc je vais ralentir un petit peu. I was um, still speaking about this um, revolutionary flag, Mr. President, before um, the objection was made. Uh, the the co-prosecutors continue to quote in their presentation from the same revolutionary flag, document number E3-11. And they used the following excerpt at ERN English 00486233, Khmer 00063145, and French 00492820. And I quote, once we made the analysis of the contradiction, contradictions within Kampuchean society, how did we determine who were the enemies of the revolution and who were the revolutionary forces? There were two enemies who had to be fought. The first was imperialism, particularly American imperialism, and the second was the feudal class, the landowners, the reactionary compradors, end of quote. And indeed, Mr. President, the prosecution ended their quote at a convenient location. Because beginning with the very next sentence in this document, it reads as follows, and I quote again. The forces of revolution were the workers, the peasants, the petit bourgeoisie, the national level capitalists, and the prominent patriots and progressives. We had to gather up whatever forces there were in the national society, gather them all. If we only gathered up a few, we would not succeed in the struggle. If we mobilized only some of them, we would only have succeeded to some extent. If we mobilized all of these forces, we would win completely. If we managed to gather up a large, powerful force, we would win a tremendous victory. This was the factor determining whether we would win win or lose. Therefore, we had to know how to gather up the forces of the workers, peasants, petit bourgeoisie, national level capitalists, and the patriotic personalities. Therefore, how could we mobilize the workers, the peasants, the petit bourgeoisie, the national bourgeoisie, and the prominent patriots? We proceeded according to the line of looking for any major contradictions to be attacked. The major contradictions were with imperialism and the feudal landlord system, which we had to combat. As for the minor contradictions, they had to be resolved by reciprocal concessions in a way that allowed the unity of all the forces against imperialism, especially American imperialism, and the system of the feudalists, landlords, and reactionary compradors. End of quote. Now, Mr. President, the document continues along these lines for the rest of the paragraph, describing the dialogue 
between le Président, these classes continue, and their effort to come uh, to a mutually beneficial position. But further down the same page, it then makes the following remarkable statement. Uh, and I quote again. Tard, the petty bourgeoisie, the pupils, students, and intellectuals of every kind élèves, les are allies of the workers and peasants. Des alliés, des it was the same in the past, and it is still the same today in the status of passé, the original class. Now, in the next paragraph, even the so-called national-level capitalists même, uh, are described les, uh, as friends of the revolution. They were not, quote, a fundam fundamental, fundamental force, but they did provide, quote, strategic assistance. Mais offrait, je cite, une and in the next paragraph, after that, even certain elements of the feudal aristocracy, the comprador capitalist class and the landowner class, la class des the core of the group which was seen to oppress the peasantry, acted as, and I quote, tactical forces in support of the revolution. And finally, at ERN en English 0048-6233, Command 0063145, French 00492820, this discussion ends with the following. And with Cette which, to their credit, the prosecution did indeed cite. Suivant, cité, and I quote, je le par we divided our enemies cite, into three groups. First, to win over those groups, enemies who could be won over in some circumstances. Second, to neutralize those who could be neutralized so that they could not carry out actions against us. Third, to isolate the most vicious in order to attack them mettre à l'écart euh, les plus vicieux afin de les attaquer. So, Mr. President, Your Honours, if we read all Donc, of this together, juges, the revolutionary movement is described as an alliance of a broad cross-section of the Cambodian society against a tiny group of large, large landowners, which persist in oppressing the peasantry. And even those enemies are quote, won over, or quote, neutralized, where possible. And this is a dramatically different story from the one the prosecution told you, which we get by doing something fairly simple, actually reading the whole document. The co-prosecutors co co then continue to cite from the same document, from the middle of page 40, on the draft transcript until the top uh, of page 43, they quoted a series of excerpts about the use of political and military violence in the course of the revolution between 1968 and 1975. And those are from ERN English 0048-6251254, Khmer 0063148-549, and French 00492824. This is still document E3 uh, 11. Document E3 bar 11. Now, with respect to uh, these excerpts, we are not even sure we know Concernant what the prosecution's extraits, point is. Uh, Surely, the prosecution recognizes that armed violence may be used in a civil war. And surely they recognize that the rebel force has the right to make revolution, especially against foreign invaders and colonialists, which the law law regime was in every function respect. So, Mr. President, Your Honours, we submit that none of this is relevant at all to any so-called CPK policy. Before leaving this document, I just want to quote the last an excerpt the prosecution quoted, because I think that quote strongly supports our client's position. And the prosecution's decision to quote it, to quote it as if it were unlawful reflects a failure to think about what any of this actually means. The quote was from ERN English 00486248, 00631163. And French 
The line of our party la ligne defined de notre in 1960 states, one, to make a national de Especially mener une the révolution nationale en éradiquant les impérialistes, surtout les impérialistes américains, et to make de the the mener une révolution démocratique en éliminant le régime réactionnaire des féodaux et des capitalistes these two tasks on 17 April, de la société comme nous avons entièrement réalisé ces deux missions le 17 avril 1975. <coughs> It should be obvious Monsieur to anyone who reads this with any kind of context si that it is not referring to individual context, American human beings. It's not referring to people who were feudalists and capitalists. It is referring to systems of imperialism, uh, feudalism, and capitalism. It is those systems which were the target of the CPK. And we submit uh, that this is obvious from the language. But any ambiguity is resolved by the last sentence, which states, we completely realized these two tasks on 17 April 1975. Obviously, the CPK hadn't murdered every American capitalist and feudalist by 17 April 1975. What they had done was, and I quote, eradicate the political system which held those people in power. That was the objective of the CPK, and that is the meaning of this document. And to tie this to a point I made earlier, it is in the sense, it is in this sense that the prosecution's case is fundamentally a political one. Because while they pretend to be prosecuting the CPK for causing harm to people, they actually accuse them of having waged war against the system. Pour le tort qu'il aurait fait à des membres de la population, alors qu'en fait il s'agissait d'une guerre. Mr. President, the next two documents are irrelevant for much of these same reasons. The documents, the document numbers are E3-2072 and E3-147. They include excerpts from one speech by Pol Pot and another by Nguyen Chia, each describing the use of, quote, revolutionary violence. End quote, in the period before 1975. For the same reasons I've already given, that is not relevant to anything. We'll also note that those speeches continue to describe the effort to defeat, and I quote, imperialism and feudalism. And in both respects, Pol Pot and Nguyen Chia are obviously speaking of social forces. Dans ces euh, deux discours, il est évident que Pol Pot et Nguyen Chia parlent de forces sociales. Les co-procureurs ont donc présenté une série de quatre exemplaires de l'étendard révolutionnaire dans le but de démontrer que cette politique s'est poursuivie pendant la période du régime du Cambodge. Le premier numéro de l'étendard révolutionnaire date de juin 1976. The prosecution gave us a very short excerpt from this issue. And the reason would seem that if you read this document as a whole, the language is very benign. The excerpt the prosecution gave us is from ERN English 00509614, Khmer 00062849, and French 00487759. It is at pages 45-46 of the transcript, that transcript, and it reads as follows. What will the enemy do next? Are they strong or are they weakening? We may respond by saying that the enemy will carry out activities against us and against our revolution in various forms. This is a continual struggle between revolution and counter-revolution. It will not stop. Arm yourselves with the stance that the enemy exists, will exist for 10, 20, 30 more years. 
30 ans à venir. National people's struggle is like class struggle. In short, the struggle between revolution and counter-revolution will continue. Are they strong or not? This issue does not depend on them, it depends on us. If we take absolute and repeated measures, the enemy will weaken, they will scatter into bits, end of quote. Even this excerpt, which the prosecution specifically chose to present, is in our view innocent. It only warns of, warns of the danger of possible enemies and challenges the people to struggle against it. A little later today, um, let me move on. We want, but we want to danger. stress that if you read the document as a whole, it becomes even more apparent just how innocent it is. Nous allons vous montrer qu'il y a beaucoup so de documents de ce type. Si l'on lit l'ensemble d'un document, on voit à quel point excerpt. le document est inoffensif. Je vais donc and citer une autre citation, la toute première quotes, phrase, qui suit la fin de l'exposé de l'accusation. Je cite. By us Quand being strong, faibles, what I want to say is that we have correct views and take correct political and military measures. In a zone, si nous sommes forts, cela veut dire que nous avons in la position correcte, que nous prenons les village, mesures militaires et politiques correctes. Dans same. une zone, un secteur, un district, un village coopératif, c'est la même strong, chose. Quand la coopérative est forte, l'ennemi ne But peut pas entrer. Quand strong, elle n'est pas forte, l'ennemi provoque des troubles. Not being strong comes from the cooperative leadership committee Le not being strong and from the people not being strong. When the leadership committee is strong, the people fort. clearly are strong. Quand le comité the issue depends fort, on whether or not the people understand when educated, whether or not the livelihood of the people si le can be sorted out. Lorsqu'on l'éduque, so then this depends on us, the party, si on peut and on the revolution. It does not depend on the enemy. Cela dépend de nous, du parti et de la révolution. Cela ne dépend pas de l'ennemi. End of quote. But on the next page, Mais à la page Mr. Suivante, President Jones, this document explains what it means to say that the party can grasp sur the people. And I quote le again. Parti peut, je cite, saisir le peuple. The important thing is to je take cite. measures, in particular to Il grasp the cooperatives. The party must grasp le parti the cooperatives. Cooperative. How can the party Comment grasp the cooperatives in the framework of countering the enemy? Dans le contexte grasp de la lutte them tightly contre in terms of politics. Il faut Make them understand the important political lines of the party. Il faut comprennent les lignes importantes Grasp them ideologically. Il faut les Make them crystal le clear. Each mission of the party, each plan of the Chaque party, mission, must be explained to them so that expliqué they understand and are crystal clear. Bien. Petty dikes, les digues, feed the canals, three tunnels, building the country tonnes, and defending the country must be explained to them to make them crystal pays, clear. Tout cela, il faut l'expliquer pour que cela soit parfaitement clair. When their understanding is Quand crystal clear, they are pleased. Bien, ils sont they fight on their own. Ils they have their children and grandchildren, and grandchildren join the enfants, army, leurs petits enfants join the mobile units, les put up mobiles, petty dikes and feed the canals. Ils construisent des diguettes ainsi que des canaux. Furthermore, grasp them en outre, il faut les saisir grasp sur le plan de l'organisation collectivement et il faut saisir leur biographie. Use the forces of the masses in the cooperatives to counter the enemy. Utiliser the party organization les forces des masses or four to ten cores can counter them. When a cooperative is solid, the enemy cannot enter. That is, uh, Mr. President, the end of that quote. And again, we apologize for the length of, quand les of this sont solides, l'ennemi ne peut entrer. Sometimes we understand it voilà, might be hard to follow. But it is exactly un peu long et difficile à suivre, our point mais c'est justement ce que nous voulons dire. documents à savoir, can't be understood on ne peut pas comprendre ces documents si l'on s'en tient aux morceaux choisis qu'a présenté l'accusation à la chambre nuanced. pendant trois jours. Ce sont des documents très nuancés. Quand on lit l'extrait Entier, the essential point is that if the cooperatives do the work of the, re of the revolution well, si les if they are strong bien and grasp the people, de la then, quote, the enemy si cannot enter. Et saisissent le peuple, alors l'ennemi ne peut entrer, pour citer le document. So this is not an effort Ce point to encourage a witch It is a call to abide the political goal of the revolution. Il s'agit d'un appel lancé pour 
atteindre les objectifs After politiques this, the de la révolution. Ensuite, l'accusation a présenté trois autres magazines. numéros de l'étendard révolutionnaire, datés d'avril 1977, de juin 1977 et de mai 1978. The documents numbers are E3-742, E3-135 and E3-727. Mr. President, we are going to have to make a difficult présent, decision at this point not to go into these specific documents in greater de detail. There are a few reasons for that. One is raisons. our uh, limited time and resources, both here today and, and in preparation. Limitées. And the second is that these documents are not very relevant to this trial, this trial segment. That's because they are all here at the very end of the temporal jurisdiction, or possibly outside of it altogether. Also, this policy is not within the scope of this trial, in case 002-01. En outre, une telle so we'll politique ne fait partie du dossier 002-01. C'est pourquoi nous abordons ces documents dans le cadre de notre mémoire de clôture. Let me just make one comment about that. Un seul commentaire à leur sujet. Which is that it seems clear that the language in these documents gets harsher in or around the middle of 1977. And we think that is not surprising. Selon nous, ce that was a time surprenant. À ce moment -là, at which the armed conflict with the le Vietnamese was es avec les escalating into bouts of full-scale war. Parfois des épisodes de That's what happens généralisée. in wartime in countries. Ce qui se produit dans les pays politicians en temps de guerre. start saying some les vicious politiques things. Commencent à s'exprimer de façon violente. But it doesn't mean they are war criminals. Des criminels de guerre. So I'll point that out in part as a very preliminary effort voilà to, place, uh, to place those documents in a context. Documents dans leur context. But also to point out that there is a Je reason why the June 1976 revolutionary flag une raison sounds different pour laquelle from le ton the May 1978 revolution flag. De juin 76 est différent the chamber de May should, 78. in our submission, find that the latter nous, la chambre is of no probative value in terms of policies in existence in 1975 n'a aucune valeur probante par rapport aux politiques existant en 1975 et 1976. Ensuite, l'accusation a présenté cinq documents from the or du comité central ou du comité permanent. The first is e Le premier slash, porte la cote 3-1173. Il est daté de février 1976 et il concerne this explosion cette explosion, explosion de Siem Reap with which the que connaît bien familiar. la Chambre. And all it says is Tout ce qui est indiqué, c'est qu'il faut, je cite, rééduquer sur le plan interne. We don't think Selon nous, cela n'a rien d'illégal. So we don't think this shows anything about a so-called criminal policy concerning enemies. Supposé politique criminelle envers les ennemis. The second, le deuxième document, is E3/232. It is the minutes of the March 1976 standing committee meeting. The minutes of the March 1976. It is true that some lower-level cadres report to the committee about some security concerns. concerns. Problems of security. But there is no indication Mais of anything unlawful. De quoi que ce soit Just that some suspects have been arrested or interrogated. We don't find it too surprising that there was some general reporting back to the standing committee. As a whole about this general subject matter. So we're not sure what the relevance of this document is. So we're not sure what the relevance of this particular document is. So we're not sure what the relevance of this particular document is. So we're not sure what the relevance of this particular document is. So we're not sure what the relevance of this particular document is. So we're not sure what the relevance of this particular document is. So we're not sure what the relevance of this particular document is. So we're not sure what the relevance of this particular document is. So we're not sure what the relevance of this particular document is. So we're not sure what the relevance of this particular document is. So we're not sure what the relevance of this particular document is. So we're not sure what the relevance of this particular document is. So we're not sure what the relevance of this particular document is. So we're not sure what the relevance of this particular document is. So we're not sure what the relevance of this particular document is. The first one is the right to smash inside and outside the ranks. Mr. President, I'll make um, two brief comments about this. One is that this document says nothing about enemies. concernant les ennemis. There is no instruction in relation to any person or any group. There is no evidence of any harm being done to anybody. 
Second, as we Deuxièmement, see in many of these documents, de the word smash de is used in a variety of contexts. Contexte. We're going to discuss that a bit more in Nous just a few moments. Dans quelques instants. Because one of the documents um, the prosecutor cited Un shows it very clearly. Le montre clairement. But for now, I'll just say that the word smash je me à is a general que le terme est un terme Certainly, général. it does not simply mean kill. Sans aucun doute, il n'est pas synonyme de Le document suivant est E3-773, c'est un document du Central Comité Central datant de juin 1978. Pour l'instant, nous allons sauter ce document pour la même raison que nous n'avons pas directement adressé ces flags datant de juin 1978. Nous n'avons pas abordé directement les numéros de l'étendard révolutionnaire ultérieur à la mi-77. Um, the fifth and final Le document in this set, E3-99, is a party document from September 1975. And we think, Selon nous, if the Chamber si la reviews uh, this document, you will find nothing even remotely criminal about it. Elle ne the excerpt cited by the prosecution describes de loin the decline comme of criminel. pagodas. The prosecution said that the key language is in the portion pagodes. of the document which states that when the monk is in decline, quote, que this special layer of the society will no longer cause le any worry. Bouddhiste diminue, citation, quote, cette couche spéciale de la société we don't think ne causera it is any secret that the CBK preferred that monks would participate in society as regular workers and citizens. Que les and there's no hint here of any discriminatory conduct against monks of any kind, ordinaire. nor are monks aucun being described as enemies. Concernant les moines. Aucun moine Therefore, décrit this comme document un ennemi. is Ce irrelevant. Est donc dénué de pertinence. Now, Mr. President, from this stage, De ce Onwards, moment, the prosecution's presentation was almost entirely about what this chamber has called questions of implementation. The prosecutors talked about implementation uh, de in the ministries, in ministries, in the military, and the security centers. Dans et dans les and as you know, we Comme find the presentations savez, of these documents after 20 months of trial, during which everyone accepted that all of this was outside the scope to be just quite incredible. Il est incroyable que ces documents soient présentés après 20 mois de procès durant lesquels tout le monde avait admis que cela ne relevait pas are, however, de la portée du procès. On ne peut pas reprocher à l'accusation d'avoir essayé. Toutefois, nous nous demandons pourquoi la Chambre a laissé l'accusation faire. À présent, la Chambre doit décider any other choice d'exclure tous ces documents right durant ces délibérations. Toute autre décision serait une violation flagrante du droit now de l'Union à la confrontation. Il y a deux documents we'll about those combinés. La Chambre peut inférer que, en termes de tout document que nous ne parlons pas, notre position est que ces documents qui tombaient dans le cadre étroit de l'existence de la politique de entreprise criminelle commune. Nous avons parlé. Si nous n'abordons pas un document, 1976. la Chambre peut en conclure que nous considérons que ce document n'entre pas dans le champ du procès. E3 nous n'allons pas perdre du temps à énumérer tous ces documents. As usual, ce document, c'est un discours de Pol Pot d'avril 1976. E3 bar 800, comme d'habitude, l'extrait cité par l'accusation est de nature à nous induire en erreur. L'accusation a d'abord cité la page en anglais 0014-3463, en Khmer 00-72756, en français 0054-8896, je cite. No matter how well we Même si nous faisons bien les choses, if the si les impérialistes are alive, sont vivants, if the CIA si la CIA is alive, est vivante, if their reactionary si groups are not yet eliminated from the face of the world, de la face du monde, they will continue opposing the revolution, à à la opposing us, à à nous, opposing anything progressive, both, progressive both et ce overtly de ouvert and clandestinely. Pol Pot continues, even on its own terms, this Fancy excerpt citation. is obviously just general political rhetoric. Cet extrait relève um, manifestement de la rhétorique no, politique. Je m'y perds un peu. C'était donc la fin de la citation de Pol Pot. 
Même en tant que tel, cet extrait relève manifestement de la rhétorique politique générale. But the context of the statement makes it even Le contexte montre cela encore mieux, on comprend encore mieux quel est le sens de ces mots et l'absence de pertinence de cet extrait. Le contexte, c'est l'opposition d'un autre gouvernement au régime du PCK. Cette partie du document est intitulée comme suit. Réaction et identité individuelle dans le monde par rapport à la création de notre nouveau gouvernement du Kampuchea démocratique. That's on the previous page figure from the last page excerpt. Precedent. And the document explains how in the Dans early days of the Soviet and Chinese revolutions, revolutions the world cursed them too. Le monde avait aussi and it was only after uh, 10 years, 15 years, and I quote, after ans, liberation before a number of countries made contacts with China. Après la libération, the forces opposing the CPK revolution are not the internal cadres who must be smashed. They des contacts avec la Chine. Les forces d'opposition à la révolution du PCK ne sont pas les cadres de l'intérieur qui doivent être écrasés. C'est l'opinion et la diplomatie mondiale. L'accusation a aussi choisi d'omettre la phrase qui conclut ce paragraphe, à savoir « Ceci est normal ». Deuxième extrait. En anglais, 0014-3467, Khmer 0072-760, et en français 0054-88-99. Je cite, défendre l'autorité étatique révolutionnaire et les fruits de la révolution, défendre le parti, le peuple, l'armée, l'indépendance, la souveraineté face à toute forme d'activité de l'ennemi ouverte ou clandestine. Nous devons maintenir la diligence révolutionnaire et toujours contrôler la situation. Il s'agit à nouveau d'un appel parfaitement inoffensif disant que si la protection du pays est garantie, et c'est bien normal qu'un État cherche à défendre son indépendance et sa souveraineté face à toute menace ouverte ou clandestine, mais We can be in mastery only Ce passage est encore plus inoffensif lorsqu'on lit les passages exclus par l'accusation. Je lis le passage suivant. Nous pouvons exercer notre maîtrise uniquement si nous formons les masses dans chaque ministère et bureau, dans l'armée, les coopératives, les syndicats. Ne pensons pas aux comités. Il faut que les masses entières absorbent. Il faut que les masses deviennent Thus, notre nez et nos yeux. C'est ainsi que nous pourrons nous défendre et exercer la maîtrise from education. Donc, comme on le voit dans ce again, numéro de 1976 de la révolutionnaire, dont nous avons déjà parlé, la défense passe par l'éducation, à nouveau, rien à voir avec la violence. By Pol Pol Ensuite, un discours Army fait par Pol Pot devant la RK en juillet 1975. Document uh, number is E3 slash 5. And once again, it's nothing more than an instruction that Selon quoi, même si le PCK a gagné la guerre, il faut continuer à être vigilant face aux adversaires de la révolution. Now, what in this speech does the, does the prosecution complain about exactly? Quelles sont les doléances de l'accusation dans ce discours N'est-il pas vrai que la mission de l'armée est de défendre le pays N'est-il pas vrai que l'impérialisme et le colonialisme étaient une menace constante pour le Cambodge et pour le communisme en avril 1975 N'était-il pas vrai que les capitalistes et les féodaux allaient résister à une révolution communiste et essayer de reprendre le pouvoir, n'était-il pas vrai qu'ils allaient probablement revenir à toute étape possible Est-il criminel d'être vigilant quand on défend son État face à des menaces internes et des États étrangers Est-ce que l'accusation pourrait citer un seul pays qui n'est pas vigilant au moment de se défendre Neither is the instruction to smash espionage groups and saboteurs in order to kill anyone. Quant aux instructions 
d'écraser les groupes d'espions et les saboteurs, ce n'est pas non plus un ordre document, de tuer qui que ce soit. Comment le sait-on Car dans le même document, à la même page, in fact, the very next dans les sentence, phrases qui suivent immédiatement l'excès choisi par l'accusation, Pol Pot est cité as describing the objective of the feudalists and the capitalists as follows. L'objectif des féodaux et des capitalistes. Je cite To destroy the revolution, détruire la révolution, to smash the revolution, écraser la révolution, and to seize state power back from us. Nous reprendre le pouvoir des pays. Now, unless the meaning of the word smash changed from one sentence to the next, there is no question at all that it was intended metaphorically. Moins que le sens du mot écraser et changer une phrase à l'autre, on doit conclure que tout cela était une métaphore. I'm mindful of the time, Mr. President. I'm, I'm going to a, a last set of documents. Tourne, I could pause here or um, I could continue. It's up, of course, to you. Au dernier groupe de documents, je peux m'interrompre ici. À vous de voir. The President, Le président. you may continue for Vous pouvez continuer encore cinq minutes. minutes. The last set of documents, uh, Mr. Se President, Your Honours, I'm going to make reference to is a long sequence of telegrams. Un grand uh, this was a fairly substantial part of the discussion, and it runs from pages 79 to 95 of the English language June 25 draft transcript. Je fais référence au projet de transcription now, most of these documents anglaise du 25 and are juin, page 79 à 95. La plupart de ces documents concernent la mise en œuvre et ne relèvent pas du procès. Si j'en parle, c'est uniquement parce que certains auraient supposément été envoyés en copie à Nuanchea ou au comité 870 ou à Nuanchea. Dans la mesure où la Chambre conclurait que certains des role. télégrammes étaient destinés that à Nuanchea, uh, entre autres, detail, the day on ils June peuvent 27. être considérés comme pertinents and par rapport au rôle de Nuanchea. La question were again a été examinée plus en détail le 27 juin. Certains des télégrammes ont été présentés à nouveau le 27 juin, d'ailleurs, je pense. Et mon confrère, but since many of these documents were presented bon during this segment, I just want to make two brief points. Segment, and again, my colleague choses. will make some similar arguments. arguments we count 12 telegrams and reports Nous that were presented in this segment. The earliest document is from March 1976. Le document the document number is E3-871. Et le plus ancien date de mars 1976. Document E3-871. Document E3 si la Chambre l'examine, elle verra qu'il ne contient guère de choses intéressantes. Le document suivant, dont Nuanchea n'a pas reçu copie, est daté d'août 1976. Vient ensuite un document de mars 1977. Donc, Mr. President, the co-prosecutors were able to find zero documents aucun document showing faisant apparaître my client's role in relation to enemies within aux the temporal jurisdiction of this specific segment of the trial. Their earliest document is almost two full years after two portrait, which le is the only document issue allegation at issue in this segment of the trial, document which concerns plus ancien qu a an identifiable enemy. Concerne un moment the second point I want to make is that none of these documents show that Nguyen Chia took any action of any kind. They just report to show him receiving some documents. And needless to say, none of these documents show that Nguyen Chia took any action of any kind. They just report to show him receiving some documents. And needless to say, none of these documents show that Nguyen Chia took any action of any kind. They just report to show him receiving some documents. And needless to say, none of these documents show that Nguyen Chia took any action of any kind. They just report to show him receiving some documents. And needless to say, none of these documents show that Nguyen Chia took any action of any kind. They just report to show him receiving some documents. In relation to uh, JCE policy on enemies. Que je ne suis pas en train d'affirmer que ceci est pertinent. Um, je fais simplement ces observations très spécifiques. But to complete our response, these documents must be placed in a greater context, and this voilà. greater context. Voilà. Pour uh, mon leave, examen like des to, documents de um, l'accusation par rapport à la politique d'entreprise criminelle commune sur les ennemis, il faut donc uh, placer leurs documents dans leur contexte. The president, thank you, counsel. It is an appropriate Merci. moment already for the 
Adjournment. The chamber will adjourn for 20 minutes. Nous allons observer d'une pause de 20 minutes. L'audience reprendra aux heures. Sauf quelque chose.